<gasps> oh no. Oh sh sh what, what what is this? What's up guys and welcome to Simple Review, the series where I, Pepper Homie, briefly play a game, review it, and I keep it simple. Let's get into it. Sanity of Morris is a first person detective alien game. When you play this game, you just have the option of playing through the main story. And in this main story, you are tasked with finding your dad, who recently left you a voicemail saying you need to come find him. While heading to find him, you get ran off the road by a random van, and then the drivers of that van begin hunting you. You would then eventually arrive at your dad's house, and he doesn't seem to be around, but you find evidence of him researching aliens. And at this point, you are then tasked with locating where your dad is. In order to do this, you're actually able to look around and find clues that lead you farther in the story. For example, your dad has a locked room in the upstairs part of the house and you need a key code. This key code can be located by navigating throughout the house and looking at different objects and finding journal entries and recordings that help you better understand the story. And this is overall just the main concept of the game. You're navigating throughout the world, you're finding information to help you better understand the story, and at the same time, you're presented with puzzles, and you solve those puzzles to make progress. And from my experience, all this works very well. The puzzles were mildly challenging, and all the information that you're gathering and you're seeing while you're exploring is very interesting and doesn't feel like a burden to you when you're playing the game. This game overall just has very well pacing, so there's always something new for you to see that's going to pique your interest and make you want to keep on playing the game. All that aside though, this is not a triple A game and the overall experience may not be as refined and polished as you would expect of other games in this genre. But that doesn't prevent this game from being a good game. This game delivers the same experience you'll get in those triple A titles, but it's just not as polished. And with all that being said, I'd have to give this game 9.5 pepperonis out of 10. This game definitely delivers a full captivating experience that will definitely rival some AAA titles, but while playing the game, you'll definitely notice some hiccups here and there that definitely need touched up. But overall, this doesn't prevent the game from being a good game. So if you guys like the content, uh, drop a sub, drop a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one.